filming, eh? <laughs> yeah. Is it video? Alright, showtime. What brought me to Ghana was um, a friend from high school. His name is Jordan Miller. And basically, he reached out to me because previously he had already been to Ghana two times. He wanted me to film exactly what it was that he did over there um, the two previous times. I thought that it was something I could share with the world that they really needed to hear. Um, once I set foot in Ghana, it was just completely surreal. I mean, to be in Africa was something that I never thought would be possible in my lifetime. Um, but it was. My documentary, Going Home Ghana, primarily focuses on community outreach, healthcare, education, and film within the western region of Africa. Uh, Peter was essentially one of the patients at the local hospital that Jordan was working at in Takarati. And while he was there, he met Peter and they grew a bond, a type of relationship that was just something that had to be captured. I thank you for coming. Um, he life. really needed a wheelchair yes. in order to um, help him with his rehabilitation. But unfortunately, he didn't have the funds to do so. Um, so Jordan uh, went into his own pocket and funded for this man, this stranger that he didn't know prior to going to Ghana. Even without the crutch, I can make some steps. So Jordan played a very key role steps. in that aspect and getting him back to 100% health. Essentially going home, wherever that may be for you, just traveling outside of your comfort zone can really expose you to things that you didn't know exist, that you didn't know about yourself, and that really brings you closer to what I like to call the source. Then I followed that up by healthcare, which was basically a, giving everyone a background to who Jordan Miller was, and as well giving you a background as to the type of individuals that are over there helping saving helping to save lives, and just the differences between two nurses that have the same occupation, but depending on where they're located and depending on the amount of clientele they have or the amount of resources given to them, those things are deciding factors of whether or not someone lives or dies. So that segment on healthcare was just something that was really touching because they're intelligent individuals. They have superb dialogue, but the resources afforded to them are extremely minimal. It's just something that really has to be seen with your own eyes. I mean, the images in the, in the footage still doesn't really bring home the feeling of going back home, which is why I named the documentary that. And then to follow up with education, focusing on um, SEMY's story, Essie's story is amazing about how she spent her entire life growing up in America and then she left America to go back home to Ghana, which both of her parents are actually Ghanaians. They were born there. That is their lineage. That's their culture. So for her to go back home, going into womanhood after she had already accomplished you know, higher education, receiving a degree. Her going back home to experience a completely different lifestyle that she didn't know what was in store for her was something that I really admired. And then when she told me about her grandfather, this man is doing tremendous things in this country for the children there. So how could I not include him in a documentary project, especially when I'm going to be there? Going off of education into film, Pascal Aka, his story was even one that had to be told. Um, Pascal Aka is a filmmaker, uh, originally born in Ghana, but attended film school in Canada. Him and his parents had relocated. They had started their lives there, and he was thriving during his passion. A family member passed away, so he went back home to Ghana, and once he was home, he did a few side projects, a few music videos, a few short films, and it just grew into more and more projects. This man decided to go back home to Ghana and to you know, face the adversities that he would have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And he said that these things will not dictate my success. Instead, 
dealing with the certain conditions there makes him a better director. It makes him a better actor. It makes him want to perform better on the stage and give the audience a better product because he knows what it takes in order to put that out, in order to showcase his art to the world. That's something that I truly admire, especially with me being over there for 15 days chasing after something that I have always dreamt about doing and to actually do it, to actually see the finished product and to actually share it with the world is really all I have to ask for. <laughs> when you go home or when you explore the world outside of your own block, when you start to branch out, that's when you truly see the world for what it is. You truly see the melting pot that the world really is. Essentially, every subject in my documentary went home. They all went home, from Canada to Ghana, from America to Ghana, and it's just something that always brings you back. It's something about the people, it's something about the atmosphere, it's something about the food, it's something about the air, it's something about being around people that look like you. It's just 